We're checking out the September 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the September 2022 Keto Crate unboxing. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate or stick around to the end of this video so you can find out how to win your very own Keto Crate. All right, let's hop right in. Oh my gosh, I felt like I saw the top of a jar, but I was like, no way, this, this can't be like another jar of whatever this is, crossing my fingers. Oh, it's something different. Oh, it was not what I thought. Nut light, no sugar added, hazelnut spread with cocoa and milk. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, is this more chalk zero spread? But okay, nut, nutty light, neutral light, nutty, nutty light, nutty light, mm, nudy light, <laughs> N U T I L I G H T, nutty light, nudy light. It's new to me, so um, you guys, this looks uh, very much like some Nutella. Oh, new Nutellite, Nutellite. Never. I'm I'm gonna stop. And it has information in both English and French, so maybe this is Canadian. Oh, so it's proudly made in the USA in Palm Coast, Florida. So maybe they're just putting French on here to be fancy. Nutritional information, there are 10 servings per container. One serving is two tablespoons, 150 calories, 13 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, seven fiber, and six sugar alcohol. So that's two net carbs per serving, and then two grams of protein. It says, do not refrigerate after opening. Yeah, this is something that I feel like needs to stay liquidy so that everything can meld together. The ingredients are vegetable oils and fats, so sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, hazelnuts, erythritol, organic non-fat dry milk, cocoa powder, sunflower lecithin, pure vanilla extract, organic stevia leaf extract. I mean, I've heard of all these things at least, right? So, I mean, I'm excited to try this. It seems chocolatey, it seems sweet. I'm here for it. Nudalite. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop. Next, oh, Raw Rev Glow. I love Raw Rev Glow bars. This is a classic. This is their creamy peanut butter and sea salt. For one bar, there are 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 14 fiber, woo! So that's what, three net carbs and 15 grams of protein. These have like a subtle peanut butter flavor, but I am here for it. Oh, something in a bag. Oh, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pineapple Ancho Chili Pork Rinds. Have you all seen? They kind of changed their branding a little bit. And orange is my first favorite color, if you didn't know that. So I particularly like, I don't know if I like the flavor pineapple and ancho chili, but I definitely love the bag, the packaging. Okay, so there are four servings per container, per serving. There are 70 calories, four and a half grams of fat, less than one gram total carb, eight grams of protein. But for the whole pack, it's 300 calories, 19 grams of fat, three total carbs, and 32 grams of protein. So you see here on the total carb per serving, it's less than one, right? So that means that it's somewhere around that 0.5 range because when you multiply that by four for the whole bag, you get three grams of carbs. That's why when they be given so small serving sizes of pork rinds where it says zero carbs, I'm like, you always have to count some carbs because that dust on there does have some carbs in it, especially with this being pineapple. But I am excited to try this. I've never seen this flavor before and I love Southern Recipe Small Batch. Something else in a bag. Oh wow, shrewd food protein puffs, but look at the flavor, caramel apple pie. I do not know how I'm gonna feel about this. I do not like apple pie, the dessert, right? I do not like hot apple anything, so, but I do love the taste of raw apples, so maybe I'll like this, I don't know. But 
Serving size is one bag, 90 calories, three grams of fat, four total carbs, and 12 grams of protein. I mean, I do know that I love the protein puffs. I'm just very interested to see how I will feel about this flavor. It looks like it's like coated in some sort of apple cinnamon dust. So I will see, we will see about this. Next, F-bomb crunch cheese crisps. Oh, Buffalo, I'm gonna love this. My mother's gonna hate it. I love F-bomb. I met the owners of F-bomb at KetoCon this past year and like the story of their business and like the trials and the struggles that they went through and now they're back and like relaunching. Like I loved their story and I love the people behind the brand and I love their nut butters and I'm sure I love their cheese crisps as well. Serving size is two servings per container and they're 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, one carb and nine grams of protein. But I do love it because they also put the complete container on here, 320 calories, 26 grams of fat, two total carbs and 18 grams of protein. Like I am excited to try pasture raised dairy, no artificial hormones. Like I'm excited to try these Buffalo cheese crisps. Oh, monk pack. Come on now. This is just amazing. A crowd favorite. This is a keto granola bar. This is the peanut butter cocoa chip. I, I mean, what, mm, what is there not to love about this? Serving size is one bar per bar, 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, five fiber, five allulose, one glycerin. So I'm assuming that's two net carbs and five grams of protein. Yeah, I mean, ingredients, almonds, allulose, peanuts, coconut. I mean, this is just going to be a delicious peanut buttery, granola-y, amalgamation-y, like one of my absolute favorites. Oh man, Fat Snacks Cracks. We got the everything crackers again. What do we see these like two or three months ago? I don't mind these. I really like these, even though I don't like everything flavor things. The last time we had these, they weren't really strong in the everything flavor. Hence, I didn't mind them at all. There are two servings per container and these crackers are substantial enough to where if you're being good and you're measuring, like one serving is actually, you know, good enough. But if I open this thing up, I'm just gonna keep going in there till they're gone, right? Which is still honestly not that bad because for one half of this container, so times all this by two, all you math majors out there, 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, six total carbs and three fiber. So that's three net carbs. That's six total carbs. I mean, for the whole thing, that's 12 total carbs. Not bad. Uh, and then five grams of protein per serving. Like I am very much a fan of these. Snack House Keto Cereal Wild Berry. Mm, go ahead, have two bowls. I love that, thank you. You don't need to encourage me, little snack man. Um, this is amazing. It looks, once again, like the like the uh, packaging got a little off center, but this is Berry, Wild Berry Keto Cereal. I do love how it comes in its like own individual serving. You could dump this directly into a bowl, put some almond milk on top of it. If I'm having to open up a box of this, I'm just going to keep pouring. You know what I'm talking about? But also I like that it comes in this little like snack situation where you could eat this dry. You could just like, you know, be wherever you eat your dry snacks and you could have it like that, right? It doesn't necessarily have to go with milk. Okay. So serving size, one package, 125 calories, six grams of fat, 10 total carbs, and eight allulose, so that's two net carbs, 15 grams of protein. Yeah, so these are just like protein puffs. I am going to be interested to see what the flavor is like. So I'm excited. Snack House Foods does have good flavors, and so I'm hoping I like this one. Okay, finally, we have Singing Pastures Pork for the Planet Rome Sticks. This is a pineapple Rome stick. I remember having something like this before. So I don't really know if I enjoyed the taste of it, but I'll be glad to try it again. Let's see if they have the nutritional information. It doesn't look like they have the nutritional information on here, but the ingredients, 100% pasture aged pork, pineapple chunks, so that's pineapple and sugar, water, sea salt, organic dextrose from tapioca. Yeah, so I would have to imagine this is maybe one or two carbs at the most. like. 
Using pineapples and sugar, you're definitely gonna have some carbs in here, but you know, generally meat sticks, the amount that they give you is not too substantial. So I'll be interested to try this one again. Okay guys, that is the keto crate. Like there are some things in here I've never heard of before and I still clearly can't pronounce. And then there are some new favorites that I'm looking forward to trying. So use the link in the description of this video to get a discount on your very first keto crate. I can't wait to try this. Or comment down below, let me know which item in this keto crate you've tried or would like to try and you can be entered to win your very own keto crate. We'll draw the winner in our Smash the Crate series. That's the monthly series where myself along with my mother and my husband try every item in this keto crate so we can tell you how it tastes. Spoiler alert, I bet it's gonna taste good, but go ahead and get you your own keto crate or comment down below so you can win one in the next video. All right guys, I, I am interested to try these. That is it, and I will see you over in Smash the Crate. Bye.